Hey, hey, it's old Brookie coming at you. If you really want to get serious about making progress on guitar, I recommend giving this book a try. Guitar Aerobics by Troy Nelson from Hal Leonard Publishing. It's got uh, a 52-week, one lick per day workout program for developing, improving, and maintaining guitar technique. Pretty great book. I'm up to week 28. I've got very few students working on this, but the ones that are working on it are kind of blowing, blowing my mind with progress, okay? So I'm going to show you number 190, 191, 192, all the way up to 196. So 190 is uh, alternate picking. It's based on a G minor 7, a C7, and an F major 7 chord. So I'm going to play some uh, arpeggios with scale fragments. Let's see how this goes. There's my G minor 7, then the C7. Cool. Then the F major 7. Then you come back around. <laughs> cool. All right, 191 is string skipping based on a C major or A minor scale. Repeat. Yeah, 192. This is uh, kind of a rock blues thing based on an E7 chord. Cool. That's a hammer on pull off. Bend. And 193. These are arpeggios showing A minor, C, G, and E minor ideas. Here we go. Double check A minor, C, G, E minor. So that helps helps your hand spread out a little bit. Yeah, 194. This is uh, G major seven. I'm just gonna. These are some chords of, of the scale of G major. I'm just gonna play the chords just to kind of get my ear ready. Whoa. Now we're gonna play them as arpeggios going up the neck. Check that one. Yeah, that was right. Almost. <laughs> I've gotten a lot better at these. I mean, the cool thing about the book is 
it's consistent with these ascending chord scale practices in the sweep picking. I'm that's that's a weak spot for me is sweep picking. Definitely. Let me hit it one more time just for fun. Oops. That's cool. All right. Number 195 is uh, tapping with the picking hand. It's a 10, 5, 7, 10, 5, 8. So it's going to be. Cool. <laughs> So you tap at 10, pull off to 5, hammer on to 7, tap at 10, pull off to 5, hammer on to 8, alternate. Right, 196 is uh, a C to a G7. This one's pretty fun. <laughs> C, C, G7, C. boom cheeky bass down up alternate bass down up so it needs you got to have kind of a light feel with that So these, most of these are things, I mean, there's a, a nice mix of common, familiar, rootsy, down-to-earth, functional things in this book with a few things that are kind of out on the edge a little bit. So it's a fun mix just when you think, oh, it's getting too hard. Then he brings it back down to something that's not, you know, completely foreign. And so that's about as, you know, that's about as rootsy as you're going to get. So it's a really, really, really good mix of things to practice. So, you know, what I like to do, you know, I'm up to week 28. I'll go back to the beginning and I'll notice that I can play all the beginning exercises much better. You know, the first time you hit these, they're a little, you know, they might shake you up a little bit. And then once you come back to them, maybe, you know, 20 times, over a period of say like you know a few months come back and play them again you're gonna notice that uh, you're able to do these things a lot a lot smoother and you're a lot more comfortable you'll notice your progress and that's what it's all about so once again I recommend the book Oop, I'm trapped I think it's cool it's fun it's structure you know a lot of us are very unstructured and we wander around so if you have a little bit of structure a little bit of a schedule something to keep up with that's cool and if you want what I do is I have my my online students will just say you know I'll say hey what week are you on and they'll say week six okay and I'll turn to the page I'll say let me hear it and I'll say good move on move on and like whoops you're not bending far enough or you know if you have questions I'll, I'll help you get through it 
So that's something we could do if we're doing uh, online lessons. Dig it.